you do. Okay, yeah. well, I'm Charlena, and uh, I'm a music teacher and also a musician and songwriter. Um, and I perform with uh, a loop pedal, um, my violin, uh, trumpet, ukulele, sometimes guitars. Yeah. And I'm Bernie. And, uh, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I build contraptions out of computer circuits and lights and sculpture and wearable stuff for musicians. <laughs> cool. Um, and how did you both meet? We met um, in 2015 after um, I was asked to perform and um, do some filming for Bernie's Infinity Mirror and um, that was being uh, displayed for Night Shift that year and um, so I happened to be available that evening and uh, came with all my instruments and met him and performed with his Infinity Mirror which is this amazing invention. When did you decide to make the light suit? Well I was um, traveling Iceland this summer um, traveling by myself on my bicycle and writing music and um, just having a lot of time to explore and, you know, um, I don't know, just look inside myself as an artist and think what I want to, um, where I want to go next with my music and with my art. The way I kind of realized that I wanted to um, use all the footage from my trip um, and put together video projections and I thought wouldn't it be great to build a sound activated light suit with Bernie. So I got back from Iceland and we were hanging out. He took me on a motorcycle ride to Laura and, uh, and I told him my big idea. <laughs> and, and I said, do you want to do this with me? And, uh, and, and he said... Yes, I'm always looking for somebody to do this. And <laughs> I'm really glad that uh, you came up with that. I started designing it and hand stitching it um, in September. The actual cloth and fabric and leather and that was um, um, suggested um, to me by Sandra Sador from the Idea Exchange. And the Idea Exchange is the library. Um, they do all kinds of things like a music mentorship program called Music is My Weapon and all kinds of wonderful programming. Um, so she invited me to perform at the Excess Volume Party which was uh, just this past March 4th, 2017. And, uh, and I told her about my vision of the video and light suit. Um, and she goes, oh, I bet you could probably get a grant for that. You should apply. Um, and so that covered the, the circuit building and, and all the wiring. So very thankful for that grant to, to, cover, to cover Bernie's side of it pretty much. the sound activated light suit work? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there's a microphone in it and, and, a, and a, a normal little amplifier and um, it, it, it processes sound and um, it's kind of an oscilloscope screen that like it does show you a wave and, and that's um, that's where it's different from like choreographed light shows that you see, because it, it always can be um, spontaneous according to whatever you say or play. And, um, that's one way it works. Um, so it, 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 when, when, it, when it measures a, a proper um, type of uh, signal, and it, it turns on the, a light that corresponds to that. Pretty much everything is like in in the circuit. It's like there. It's not from any kits. It's um. It's all kind of like homemade's the wrong word for it. Too. It's DIY. It's kind of hacked from designs that are out there, and it's it's um. Customized, I guess. Hmm? Customized. It's customized because our application is weird, and that's because well, here's another. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, so it works like it's slightly political because like is it on purpose will not use like canned code or canned kit parts or anything like that. Um, everything is like 
under our control so later on we can repair it right now we can fine-tune it in in ways that you know some mass marketing never thought of even um, the, the colors for example the colors yeah, for, yeah he was able yeah, to yeah. control the the hues yeah. of each of the colors on the suit I mean, in, in, in these kind of kits, they tell you. And with prefab stuff, you're always picking off a menu. So we make our own menu or we don't use one. And so that's another way it works. It, well, that's how it makes art happen. Because yeah. it lets us improvise like totally anything we want. <laughs> Screen test. So I made a mock of uh -huh. yeah. that yeah. here. So we'll have 16 of these for the lights, is that right? Um, well, here's my version of that. It's very similar uh, <laughs> um, with these, right? But no, there's eight. Eight, okay. Yeah. This, so I'm just gonna move this camera over again. So on the back here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make little- um, Like a pocket. Little yeah bar here and yeah. here and a pocket at the bottom so, so this isn't going to be able to tip because it, this whole thing will be snapped all along okay can i see that turn around can i see that on your oh it's wired okay, sorry okay can i um okay so that's going to sit there like that and it can... it's beautiful thank you All, it comes off Velcro. Alright, I'm going to ask you something about that too. That's just fantastic. <laughs> Ooh, <zipper>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, about this, before you put that back on there. Yep. Like, so this, this edge of this Velcro, is, is that's exactly where it's going to be. Yep. It's right at the bottom of that, where that tape is. Yep. Tape? Thank you. So if this is the suit this so let's say from like there oh, you know what do it up here wait sorry start over can you do it up there so i can actually lay the thing right on this yep or yeah that way okay i'll leave better. some room at the top yeah yeah I yeah good 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 the pack was somewhere around here at the edge the brain yeah. Right? So from here, I don't really want it to go up. I was hoping that the wires will come down. Um, yeah, so we can uh, find out right now if they're going to do that. So, okay, so, this so you want this to over there so if you can find a, a, a collaborator like that's because so, so you and them both have a, a knowledge of some some things some and but you come from like I mean we are like different generation different gender different like um, job training or work experience in, in, in our lives so but we but we both see light and music together, so um, if if you if you put us together to make something, well, it's unpredictable because of the ingredients are like it's not like you're you're working with the same crowd you you grew up with or. Okay, I want, all right, and this should be fine with, I made some notes, things to, to remember to tell you. The switch, the little battery, I can, if you like the colors, that's fine, if not, it's very easy, I've got it, I've got it figured out how the code controls the color, mm -hmm. if, if you, any, any, uh, you know, if you don't like it, or it's too dim, there shouldn't be any dim ones, they're all pretty, as bright as they can go. But you can, I can change the hue very easy if you just describe, right, what, okay. what you want. So don't, don't hesitate to do that. Uh, this, I told you, there will be one that falls asleep. 
Um, the sensitivity, if you find out, because I'm noticing today, I wish I had, default was sort of different. If you find out you've always, you always need to adjust that sensitivity if it's always too deaf. Okay. Uh, or too, too, too good hearing. Well, let me know. It's easy to change in code. Okay. Just about anything could be fixed in code. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You look like one of those interplanetary uh, bad guys. <laughs> All in black. <laughs> the black sort of stocking cap. And the, <laughs> I'm a and the, and this electrical, cyborg robber. This electrical cyborg stuff. <laughs> Check, 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 check. It's, I think it's educational by being fun. Like, it's, yeah. like it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be business and it doesn't have to be military and it doesn't have to be like serious, you know, science to, to work as a, a electronic or as computing. There's this whole other, it's not so much about following all the rules. As long as you don't break any, there's a lot of other things we can do. Right? So that's, to me, that's, that's the central point of educating, is that don't follow the line. Just know about it. It's a line in the sand, right? And Basically, I think that part of what you're saying is that you're wanting to inspire other people to... Yeah, to experiment. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science. Really. I think we both come from that same philosophy. You on the tech side and myself on the music side of, you know, studying the, the rudiments and then breaking all the rules and making up something new with it. Too, so. Well, that's what all art does, right? Pretty much. Hopefully. <laughs> so it, 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 it been, um, that, that concept doesn't get applied that much in tech. So making tech by doing art, then you get this right brain thing in your tech. So it makes it kind of different from what what's out there. Mm -hmm. So making art happen, like designing it, and uh, and us working together, making art happen, and then um, making art happen in the community. Um, you know, with performances and shows, uh, the excess volume party itself, I believe, was a night of art. And we got to be a part of that and be a part of the curation, really. And then all the art that's going to be made from the, the profits. Um, so that was another way that art's happening. Uh, so how important is it to you to have all ages shows? Well, it's super important because um, I really feel like what we're doing is, is different. To have only 19 plus events, um, it would be... It would block off the next generation, and that's uh, a big reason why I want to perform and and the, the huge audience that I'm wanting to share this with. When I was 12, um, you know, I I had people that I looked up to, and they were only on much music <laughs> um, across the like on the other side of the planet, and um, and even then. Um, there were very few <laughs> that I really felt interested in, in their music and the art that they were making. Um, and I felt like the accessibility to something avant-garde, um, that wasn't just your usual blues rock kind of thing, um, it was really hard for me to find on top of needing to be 19 to get in. So even if I was inspired by this artist and they were coming to Toronto, I couldn't even get in to see them. Or connect with them, or or watch them in the moment, and um, and I want younger people to be able to come and look at what I'm doing with a pedal, or what I'm, what sounds I'm making with my violin, what effects are my vocals, how the lights are responding, and I want them to call back and have the lights um, light up to the sound of their voice, you know, and um, 
I think it's something that's especially important for young people. Uh, so will you continue to make new things? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. As <laughs> soon as I have a little vacation. <laughs> okay, and yep. just for the video, can, do you want to say who you are? There's so many different things that go with music and art that you never really think of, but it just, you put it together and it happens and it's there and it's yeah. great. <laughs> so kind of like light music, it works together.